Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where today I'm going to be giving you my own personal tips and tricks to getting good at the survival game mode within the world of GTA Online. Now the great thing about the survival game mode is that it's a great way for you to get used to using weapons. It's a good way to effectively target practice with a variety of weapons on different kinds of targets, mainly ground units, vehicles and even helicopters. It develops your mind to be better suited for hostile situations like getting used to check in your corners to avoid being surprise attacked, and for people who haven't unlocked them yet, the chance to try out some of the high rank weapons such as the minigun. So if you haven't ever played survival up to this point, the basic idea is just to stay alive for a set number of waves, each wave getting progressively more difficult in the form of units using more deadly weapons. At round 1 they might use things like pistols, but by round 10 they're all going to be spinning up the barrels with miniguns galore. Come to think of it, this is probably the only only time you'll ever see NPCs carrying the likes of miniguns in any GTA game to date. Pretty interesting. Anyways, yes, the waves can also get progressively more difficult by spawning in helicopters that you have to take out. So if you're just planning on camping the entire time, then the helicopters might be a bit of a curveball to you. Alrighty then, so my first tip for survival is that at the start of the game, make sure to take the time to just look at the map, figure out areas that you can camp at, take cover and just defend yourself against the horde that's going to come later in the rounds. Once every round, all of the items that spawn in the map will reset. So if there's an armor pickup that's nearby your location and you're nearing the end of the round, you might want to consider picking that up before it ends the round so it doesn't go to waste, because another's going to spawn in its place anyway. So there's an essence of resource management when it comes to survival. Anyways, for my next tip, it'll be to make sure that your health and armor are maxed out as much as you can. If you find your armor has been depleted, obviously make sure that you go ahead and pick up another armor power up, and if your health has been depleted, even a little bit, make sure to keep that topped up by using the food that's stored inside your interaction menu. You can also do this with armor if you happen to buy some ammunition beforehand. You can eat food nice and quickly by taking cover against a wall. If you just stand in place and eat some food, your character does a little eating animation, which granted is pretty realistic, but it doesn't help you out when you need to quickly regain some health and get back in the fight. My third tip for you all will be to suck up your pride and get the help of another player to help you out, even if it's just a randomer. Although it may seem badass taking on many waves of NPCs in survival on your own, the thing is, if you die once and you're on your own, that's the end of the game. And that's a lot of time wasted depending on how many rounds you've managed to survive beforehand. My next tip for you all will be to avoid the use of rocket launchers, more specifically on vehicles. Unless you're really, really good at leading your your target with rocket launchers and can confidently take down a helicopter with just one attempt, then go ahead. Otherwise I would just recommend shooting in the cockpit area of the helicopter with a machine gun or something, and then taking out the pilot. You should also make sure you don't tunnel vision the aircraft, because as you're taking on aircraft, you're taking your focus away from the guys on the ground that are trying to kill you, and if it's the later rounds in the game, they're going to be using the likes of miniguns to shoot at you with, so you really do have to watch your back when taking out helicopters. For the next tip I have for you will be to find elevated areas to make a fort on. Being on level ground with the marauders that are trying to kill you can be rather dangerous, as they can get very close to you and deal a lot of damage, if not fatal. An example of this is the roof of this facility of the woodcutting area. It's got a lot of room to move around, plenty of spaces to take cover if I'm low on health, and makes it great to scope out the few straggler enemies that may be trying to get the drop on me. And the final tip I have for you guys is to avoid excessively high areas. Now it may seem pretty awesome to use a high area in an attempt to get a great vantage point for sniping, but the thing is, although you do have a really good vantage point for sniping and it can be effective, the NPCs more often than not have the ability and the accuracy to repeatedly shoot at you and you may find that you're taking cover a lot more than you first expected. If you want to snipe, I'd recommend simply standing on the roofs of buildings, then at least if you get shot you have plenty of room to take cover and recuperate. Hopefully you can use all these tips and tricks to help you perform better in the survival game mode and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Pyrone Gaming channel for loads more GTA Online guys coming to you very soon. See you around!